Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Classroom. This video covers how students can complete assignments in Google Classroom. There are several places a student can go to check on their assignments in Google Classroom. For example, they can go into their class, and then head to the Classwork page, where they'll see all of their work for that class, along with the due dates. Now there can be a lot of information on this page and so it may be difficult to find exactly what's due as this page grows. So another option is at the top of the classwork page, there's a link for view your work. If a student clicks on that, it'll show all of their assignments that they can filter down by what is still due. Another place to go if they want to see all of their assignments from all of their classes would be to go up to the menu button in the top left hand corner and then click on the to-do list. This will bring up a master list of all of their classes and all of the assignments that are coming up due. Now once a student is ready to work on their assignment, they can go to their classwork page and find that assignment, give a click on it, to see some quick access to the files related to that assignment. For all the details though, they can go to the bottom of the assignment and click on view assignment. This will bring up a page where they can see all of the details of the assignment, including the directions, any resources that they need to access, as well as any work that they need to complete. For this assignment, the students are supposed to visit a web link to pick out a famous American to write a report about, and then under the Your Work section, they have a Google document to click on to then write their actual report. Let's go ahead and give a click on that document. In this case, the teacher has pushed out a document to each student so the students have a place to write their report. When the student finishes completing their project, they can now turn in the assignment a couple of ways. One option is to go up to the Turn In button in the top right-hand corner of the Google document they're working on. Another option is to go back to the Assignment page and there's a Turn In button there as well. Before the student turns in the assignment, they also have the option to click the Add or Create button if the student wants to include additional resources with the assignment, maybe something from their Google Drive, a link, an uploaded file, or even creating a new document, slideshow, sheet, or drawing. The nice thing about this is if a student does create a new slideshow, for example, it will create the slideshow for them, it'll name it properly after the student and the assignment, and will also share it properly with the teacher. The student could then open up that Google Slideshow to fill in the information that they need for that as well. In any case, when the student is ready to turn in their work, they can go ahead and click on the Turn In button. At this point, it'll turn in the assignment to the teacher, which does a couple of things. First of all, it lets the teacher know that the student is done with the assignment and it's ready to be graded. Another thing it does, though, is it changes the access to these files, so these become view only for the student. Now, if the student goes back in to work on their report, they'll notice that they can no longer edit the report. It has been switched into view only access while it is turned in. If the student realizes that they still needed to do something else and turned it in too soon, there is now an unsubmit button underneath their work they can click on that to unsubmit the assignment, which will now give them edit rights again to their files. They can continue working on their files and when they're done, they can turn them in again. This assignment page is also where a student can go to leave a class comment if they have a question or a comment for the entire class related to this assignment. Keep in mind, everybody in the class would be able to see that, as well as a spot to leave a private comment if they just have a question or a comment directly for the teacher and only the teacher would see that. This assignment page is also where the student will see their grade when the assignment has been graded and returned by the teacher. So those are the basics for how students complete assignments in Google Classroom. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.